lead us on to Kellen Vieira versus Ciara Banks. Take it away, Zach. I'm all in on Sarge Banks and and I really like her. I liked her on the Ultimate Fighter. I think she has a physicality for the women's di- division that's pretty unique. Um, she's game, and she has no problem getting punched in the face and getting in there and making it dirty and physical. And we saw in her last fight, she was a huge underdog. And uh, and that girl who'd been just mopping lesser competition, but been mopping everybody, she couldn't do it to she couldn't do it to Sarge. And um, not many finishes. Pretty much all of her fights go to decision, as we see in a lot of those. You know, not not a ton of um, highlight finishes. I just think the records are deceiving on this. You know, Sarge got two quick early or two quick losses earlier in her career. Stumbled a little bit with back to back losses in the UFC, but um, this quick turnaround I think is really good for her. Like I said, I think she's she has a level of physicality that um, that Vieira may may not have may not be ready for and um she's well experienced fighter on her own right but she is coming off of a loss and uh it's been almost a year since she's been in the cage so i i, I like sarge being the more active fighter and being the aggressor in this fight to win by decision so there's a couple points that really kind of swayed me back and forth on this fight when i was picking it so i'll start with my decision i think i'm going eubanks via decision and this is the only fight on this card where i really allowed my emotion towards the fighter to sway my pick i don't really do that but sometimes on fights where you're really just like ah there's a lot of weird stuff going on here i like watching sarge eubanks fight and i think that me yelling at my tv for her to win is going to help her win so she's gonna uh Weird things. We've really got a, a, a jiu-jitsu, judo, big, strong expert in the uh, Brazilian there. She's got, she can strike because she's big and she's strong, but she's really an expert in those, in those more traditional Brazilian martial arts. Um, her last fight, she got knocked into the absolute abyss. She got, mm. I mean, that's not good for you type stuff. Uh, <laughs> she got absolutely crushed right in round one by uh, Irene Aldana. Uh, so that was that, and that was her last fight. So that's what she's coming off of is getting her just smashed into the mat. Uh, so that's not that's not a, a great thing for me to pick uh, ever. Is if a fighter's coming off of a bad loss with Eubanks, you've got the good, more traditional American boxing and wrestling coming in. She's a grinder, like uh, like Zach said. All all decision wins and losses recently. It's it's entirely going the distance. Uh, I think she's just going to, she, she doesn't knock girls out. She beats them up. Um, and I think mm-hmm. she's going to get in there and she's going to, she's going to beat her opponent up this time too. And I'm, I'm rooting for, her, uh, definitely. Vieira is a dangerous opponent though. I mean, she's, she's a big, strong girl and she's only got that one loss, but that one loss was bad. All right. <clears throat> so let me preface this with saying that I am not a very good judgment of women's MMA. I, <laughs> I haven't been doing very well at women's MMA. I'm going to be honest with y'all. It's different. So I'm going to give you guys my prediction anyway, though. So let's just let's get into it. Ketlin Vieira versus Sajara Eubanks. I'm with you guys. I like Sajara. Like, on a on a personal note, like, I've been watching a couple of her interviews recently, and she seems like a cool-ass girl. Um, so, you know, in that regard, I, I do like her. But in this fight, I do think Ketlin Vieira definitely has the uh, striking advantage. She She's a better striker on her feet. She's a... Uh, She'll cut off the cage. She's more technical. She's got a nice right hand, quick jab, like I said, technical footwork. But she has taken down four out of, of her six opponents uh, besides her last one and then another fight. But she was doing all right against Irene Aldana. I felt like she was doing all right before she got clocked. Um, but, yeah, so Zara Eubanks, two, T, two TKO wins, four decision wins, four decision losses. She only loses by decision. She is a BJJ black belt under uh, Ricardo Al- Almeida but surprisingly has no submission wins, which is, I think that's kind of weird. But like you guys said, you know, uh, you can't really measure toughness or strength. And Zach was mentioning earlier that Sajara is like, has a toughness for, for this weight class and this division that most women are used to. And I would agree with that. Um, but I do think if Ketlin Bear can keep this standing, I just think she's too technically sound and uh, she'll probably win a decision victory against uh, Eubank. So that's what I'm going with. Man, I love hearing all your guys' breakdowns before I get to go because you guys help me make my decision. <laughs> well, um, we're switching next time, Jason. Yeah, 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 I, I mean, we'll all be in different places. 
Eubanks is a dog, man. Like Zach, like Zach, like Zach said, she's a dog. She was a huge underdog in her last fight. Comes out and just just grinds it. It's it's hard to go against a fighter. Like it's it's hard. And and like Burner was saying, Vera's coming off a brutal knockout loss. I mean, mm. as far as the mental game, maybe she's maybe she's there. But on the flip side of it. I don't know if Eubanks is going to be able to manhandle her like like she just did her last opponent because Vera's Vera's a pretty big. I think Vera's going to be bigger. Um, it's hard to go against the dog though. It's hard hard to go against a fighter that's that's just got that that's just got that bite and Eubanks has it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go Eubanks by decision. Um, there are very few fighters I feel quite as sorry for as um as Vieira. I think she really lost the opportunity to um secure the title shot with the um, extended timeout um, because of the, uh, I think it was a knee injury. Um, you know, she was really in the title picture um, after the win over Zingano. It, it looked like she could have potentially got that shot. Um, so the timeout was just really unlucky. I think the, the, the left hook from Aldana, I think really, I think it would have stunted her confidence. Um, bearing in mind, she was undefeated prior to this as well. Often it can be that extra hit can just be a little bit too much to overcome. Um, and I mean, on, on Sarge's part, I, I think mentally and physically, she's so tough. I just, I don't really see this going any other way than, um, than, than, um, than for Sarge. I mean, she had some struggles to, um, acclimatize the bantamweight. She lost her first two, um, but she's now on a two fight win streak. Um, her physicality really matches the division. She looks very comfortable, um, in her last couple of fights. So I think this could be, um, this this could definitely be um be a win for Sarge. So I think I'll go for a decision on that one. Yeah, it's crazy because recently, well, over the past year or so, I've been one of them <laughs> Eubank haters. I, I just I didn't get the when the prospect was up. And from some of the interviews seen with her recently, she seems well determined to sort of get up the rankings and sort of um, you know try and get that title shot. And obviously she's six four. It's going to be a while before we see her fighting in amongst the top contenders. But to fight around, um, fight this quickly and this big of a turnaround, you've got to respect her mentality and her drive and a and a mindset to reach the top and to reach the pinnacle of the sport. So I've, I've got nothing but respect for her in that part. Considering I was a hater not that long ago, but yeah, I mean, again, sometimes with those fighters, it takes a defeat to sort of you know get back to the drawing board and you know pick out where you went wrong and. Again, sometimes it takes that defeat for you to realise, you know, maybe, maybe I've, I was approaching it wrong in this in this way, and I don't know. I think we will see Vieira get this one done by a decision. I just, I don't know. I mean, I've I've admired Eubanks recently in terms of uh, what she's saying. She's she's got all the credentials to sort of work up the rankings, and you know, we may see her fight the top prospects in the near future. But as of late, I'm going to back the Vieira who's ten and one to get the decision victory. 